Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessings, blessings, and blessings to each and every one of you. Amen. Good afternoon. Coming to you from sunny Tampa, Florida. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, yes. Thank you for coming on. As you come on, please share. Please uh, share uh, the broadcast. Please invite some followers. Amen. Invite your friends. Amen. Invite those that you want to be blessed, that you want to uh, stand with you in prayer, in agreement with God's word. Amen. Blessings, blessings to you. Yes, we appreciate you guys. Blessings from different parts of the world. Good morning from San Francisco. We're coming to San Francisco to do a suddenly meeting very soon. Yes. Excited. Yes. From Louisiana, Chicago. Good afternoon. Uh, Sonia, Nadetta, God bless you. Blessings from Atlanta. Yes. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yes. Oils and T-shirts are arriving. Yes. God bless you. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you. Austin, Texas. Brittany yes. Nash. Yes. Blessings. Arkansas, Texas, Chicago. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. We value you. Amen. Amen. Only two of the eight. Hmm. Yes. Blessings. 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 Freezing Pennsylvania. <laughs> ah, blessings. Houston, Texas. We appreciate you. We love Houston. Amen. Yes. Hey, Carlise. Bless you, uh, uh, prophetess. Blessings to you, San Francisco. Yes. God bless you. I think you. that the date for San Francisco is the third week in June. I just need to look at the calendar. Okay. Yes. Mm, third week in look. June. Antioch, California. God bless you. God bless you, royalty. Blessings to you. Blessings. Amen. San Antonio, Texas. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting Lejean and Valor Cole Ministries. Thank you for um, standing with us. Thank you for taking hold of the word of God that has been sent forth. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. Continue to share. Wow, it snowed this morning in, in Toronto. Wow. <laughs> well, we're going to send you some sun. We're going to send you some, some warmth. Amen. Glory to God. God bless you, Karen. I certainly appreciate you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, thank you so very much. Okay, George Dominic. They are they are, they have been sent out. The rest of them have been sent out. Okay. Mhm. Mm All right. Yes, the rest of them have been sent out. Yes, it's been looking forward to meeting. Okay. All right. Antioch is the San Francisco Bay. All right. <laughs> good. 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 Yeah. And then the other thing, George Dominic, if you would call me immediately after this scope on our number one eight four four W E the letter R and then C O L E mm -hmm. so that I can make sure that it's squared away. Amen. Yes. Well, share one more time with me. I want to give you this this text. I, I like this. I was looking at it. And uh, you know, sometimes in people's lives, people are planning for a funeral, but God is planning for a resurrection party. Mm -hmm. Amen. And yes. so when I begin <laughs> to look at your funeral. Absolutely. Come, well, tell us about it. Tell Absolutely. us about it. Absolutely, because in 2007, um, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, and the doctors actually sent me home to die. Mm -hmm. And so there I was in this place, and many people knew, and so they would call, you know, to check on me to see if I was still alive. And so um, when people are sometimes planning your funeral, God has a way of coming in and disrupting some stuff and bringing resurrection. So the, the funeral went from, um, from, from planning a funeral to planning a, a praise party, mm. you know, a resurrection party. So uh, God is faithful, and, and we're going to go into the, the Word of God. But I experienced that firsthand that um, the, the funeral had to be turned into a praise party. Amen. What we thought was going to die or about to die or had been given up to die, God has a way of breathing upon it and raising it back up. 
um, and, and for it to go forth and for it to be stronger, for it to be greater than it was even before. So I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if you're on your last leg or your last breath. God is still able to do everything that he said that he would do. Amen. He's not, he does not, he's not moved by what we see. We, he's not moved even by how we feel. He's not moved by any other report except the report of the Lord. So I want you to stay focused on the report of God and what he has said and what he has declared over your life, because that's the only thing that, that kept me was the word of God and, and the promises of God. God began to take me back to the prophetic words that have been spoken into my life years and years and years ago. And so so it was that it was those words, those prophetic words that I had to go back to, that I had to rely on. God said, "You you can't leave because your your promise is still alive." Amen. 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 I love that. I, I was looking at this text of scripture in Luke chapter six, verse um, or cha chapter seven. That's what we really want to look at. Chapter seven, Luke chapter seven, and um, so I'm gonna look at two instances where God heals people that looked as if though they were in a dead situation, mm -hmm. amen, and uh, where people had really given up on them, amen, and right, and you shall live and not die right. and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Uh, so when I look at, uh, yesterday we were dealing with this scripture, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11, mm -hmm. from the New Living Translation, I love what the text says. Now check this out. It said, I've observed something else under the sun. The fastest runner doesn't always win the race, and the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. The wise sometimes go hungry, and the skillful are not necessarily wealthy. And those who are educated don't always lead successful lives. It's all decided by chance. Check this last piece out. It says, it's being, uh, how does it say, it's being in the right place at the right time that matters. And when I looked at the text, 7, and I looked at this text in Luke chapter 7, verse number 11. So 11 through 17, it says, it came to pass that uh, day, the, uh, the day after that he went into the city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and much people. Mm -hmm. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched mm -hmm. the buyer, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God has visited his yes. people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all of Judea and throughout all the region around about. And so what we find is, is that sometimes they were planning a funeral. Matter of fact, he was mm -hmm. on his way to the burial. <laughs> Amen. Jesus. Are you listening to me? They were on their way to bury him. And so what happens is, in, on the way to bury him, amen, God interrupted. That's right. I like that. Jesus didn't go to funeral. He interrupted them. Ooh. And so Jesus <laughs> interrupts his funeral. I'm going to use that. Amen, woman of God. Thank you so much. And so Jesus yes. interrupt, literally interrupts Ooh. this thing. Now, it was not because they sought Jesus out, but it was because they were in the right place at the, the right, right time. time. Amen. Their time and their chance happened at the right time. They were in the right place at the right time, and suddenly they received their miracle. Amen. Absolutely. Even you, with the woman with the issue of blood, come she on. was in the right place at the, the right, right time. time, and she said, this is my moment. This is my opportunity. I cannot afford to let him go by. I know I've been ostracized. I know I'm not supposed to be in front of people or around them because of what's going on in my life, but I'm, I'm in debt. I have nothing. I'm weak, but if I could get to him, this is my opportunity. Right. So here is this mother who is getting ready to bury her son, mm -hmm. and so she's literally taking him him to the burial site and all of a sudden because she's in the right place Please. at the right time suddenly Jesus. God heals her Thank amen God. and I'm telling you that many of you our prayer is that God would order your steps that mm. this would be your suddenly season and that you would be in the right place Please. at the, the right, right time prayer. during this suddenly season and you would see <laughs> the manifestation of My the things God. that you've been praying for yes. you'll be in the right place at the right time and you'll meet your spouse even as we did we'll be in the right place at the right time and you'll be able to get your business you get financing. You'll get, uh, you get covenant connections, relationship, open doors. Yes. You'll see amazing things being in the right place at the right time. You'll go to one meeting, and you'll hear one word that will literally <laughs> shift your whole yeah, thinking, even connection. as we did. Amen. Yes. We were, in, uh, we were in, uh, in, in Houston, Texas, when we heard this word on, on reset from Apostle Eckhart. And when he began to talk about that, all of the different speakers talking about reset, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, we heard God say, and we were on that series about hearing the voice of God. Yes. And so as we were 
were hearing the voice of God, teaching on hearing the voice of God, we heard God say, and I'm getting ready to do it suddenly. suddenly. So all of a sudden now, that which God was going to do began to manifest, and now here is suddenly. Mm -hmm. Then we started to do suddenly t-shirts, and then we started to do a suddenly book. We had never had a plan to do a suddenly book. Never. We had never had a plan no. to do a we suddenly t-shirt. We were literally working and on God something else. He, he interrupted, interrupted it. He interrupted yes. it. He yes. says, you're done with that, buddy. Yes. He said, I want you to move yes. on to this I'm right now. now. I'm and right. so we had to be ready to move with God. We Absolutely. had to be ready to move with him when move he moves. Because yes. God is what? God is always ready to do something suddenly and something Amen. immediately. Amen. It's amazing because the scripture <laughs> right before that, uh, there was the centurion servant. And uh, I want to read that to you, too, because I think it'll bless you as well. <coughs> <coughs> so here it is. Uh, chapter 7 <coughs> of the book of Luke, okay? It said, when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion servant who was near unto death was sick and already and ready to die. So again, here was another suddenly situation where God healed somebody who was suddenly ready, who was ready to die. Right. And he said, and when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto them the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he, had, uh, he, for he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. And so whoever the centurion was, he must have had some power because they said he loves our nation, and he's built a synagogue. So anyway, it says, and Jesus went with him, and wow. when he was uh, not now, now uh, not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter unto my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For also I am a man under authority, and having under me soldiers, I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, and he goeth, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. And when Jesus heard, he marveled at him, and turned about him, and said unto the people that follow him, Say unto him, or I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant whole that had been sick. I'm telling you, God specializes in situations that look like they're too hard for other people. Amen. Right. He specializes in situations and circumstances yes. where it seems like it's a tough situation. It right. seems like it's a tough circumstance. Mm -hmm. Here it is, two situations back to back. One of them where Jesus, where the man said his servant was not unto death, he was ready to die. Mm -hmm. And then there's another situation where the man was already dead and God brings him back to life. And so I'm Jesus. telling you that there are situations in your life that look like they're dead and people have planned for a I mean, for a, a funeral. They're planning a funeral. They're planning a burial. But God says, I'm getting ready to interrupt your burial. I'm getting ready to interrupt <laughs> your, your funeral procession. Yes. And I'm getting ready to cause My you God. to have a resurrection yes. party. It's Absolutely. time for a resurrection party. Amen. Now we understand there are some things in our lives that we want to stay dead. Amen. We don't want to resurrect those. Amen. Our sin life, our other things. But amen, I'm telling you, there are some things in yes. your life that God is getting ready to resurrect. He's not going to ask anybody's permission. He's not going to ask anybody. <laughs> He's not going to apologize. He's getting ready to cause resurrection to yes. be your portion and we declare it to be so in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We declare even as Solomon said that you're going to be in the right place at the right time even as this widow this widow woman from the city of Nain she was in the right place at the right time. Amen. The, the, uh, even the, uh, the centurion was in the right place at the right time. Amen. Yes. Amen for God to resurrect some dead things in their lives and so Jesus. we're prophesying that over your life. We're decreeing that and declaring that mm. God is getting yes you're getting ready to have a resurrection uh, gala. Get your party dress ready. Get your tuxedo <laughs> ready. Get your dance your shoes ready. Amen. Off. Take your grave clothes, clothes mm. off and get ready for party mm. because God is getting ready to cause Jesus. some things to be amazingly uh, <laughs> over. He's getting ready to Ooh. overwhelm everything that seemed like it was for your demise. Amen. It's yes. your suddenly season. Yes. We declare that it is so, that it yes. is your suddenly season and it doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter what it feels like, that God is causing it to be resurrected. Amen. You got some relationships that look like they were dead. Amen. You can't get along. You couldn't get along with each other, but you, God says, I'm getting ready to cause a party Jesus. to happen, amen, on your behalf, yes. amen. Listen, if you yes. haven't shared yet, go ahead and push that share button for us because we're getting ready to pray for some people. My wife is getting ready to prophesy to some people and declare that you're getting ready to be in your in the right place at the right time, amen. Your time and your chance is getting ready to happen, amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. Hear me well. Your time and your chance. As I've been saying the last couple of days, you're going to get ready to stand at the intersection of time and chance, amen. I'm telling you.
But yes, yeah, somebody said, get your jet ready because Ooh. we're getting ready to be at a whole lot of galas. <laughs> Amen. We receive it. Jesus. We declare we're getting our, yes. sh our shouting shoes on. Amen. Yes. Oh, yes. like old shouting John. We're getting ready to Amen. get our party clothes on because it's time, amen, for the resurrection party. Amen. One of the things that I just keep hearing in my spirit is that some of you have closed down businesses. Some of you, it seemed like the business wasn't working and so you shut it down and you um, dissolve some things. You dissolve your corporation, but God said he's about to resurrect that 501 C3. He's about to resurrect your business. And, 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 and so God said, it's coming. It's coming forth and I'm sending people in to help you. I'm sending, I'm giving you new ideas and, and creativity. It seemed like you were at a standstill. You were seeing like you only got to a certain level, a certain point in your business and even in your ministry. And you say, God, I, I don't understand it. I don't have the finances to, to keep it moving, to keep it going. And so you shut it down. But God said that he's, Resurrected he's, LLC. I love it. Yes, that. absolutely. Resurrected LLC. Resurrected 501c3 a resurrected uh, s corp c corp all of those different things god said he's resurrecting yes um my god yes yes so God said this is the time and the season to, to come forth to arise, to go back to those things that seem like they were dead or things that you had buried. God said go back to that place because he is the resurrection. He is the life. He is the truth. And he's going to revive those things. He's going to bring them forth. He's going to breathe on them again. And I just hear that so strong in my spirit, even as you were talking and, and even as you were declaring, God things that you had folded that had seemed like you had put away and you said I'm, I'm not going back to that because I it, it, it hurt so bad for me to have to shut my business down to have to turn away certain things have to release people even from your business but God said this is the hour in the season that he's sending forth help to you he's sending forth resources he's sending forth everything that you need um, for it to thrive for it to go forth he's going to give you new ideas and creativity he's going to release wisdom unto you because many times that when you're starting a business, it is the very hardest when, when you're starting and you don't always know um, the right things to do, but you learn through your mistakes. And so what you went through is it wasn't for nothing, but God wanted you to learn some things. You had to learn um, even from your failures. It is through your failures that you become successful, but you have to be able to persevere. You have to get back up. You have to go back to that place where you left it and pick it back up again. God said, this is the hour to pick it back up again because my grace is sufficient for you. My hope is with you. There is a hope that God is releasing on the inside of you because your hope was deferred. And you said, God, I'm hoping and I'm believing and I'm hoping I'm believing. And it seemed like it didn't come to pass, but God has a plan and God has a time and a season for everything to come together and for it to be set in order because this is your hour. This is your chance. <coughs> and this is your time in the name of Jesus. Thank you right now that you have not left them. You forsaken them, the dream and the vision, the business. Father God, that they started, God, I thank you that they're going back to that place where they laid it down. They're going back to that place where they shut down the corporation. They're, they're going back to that place where they allow um, their 501c3 to expire. God said he's taking you back to that place. He's going to the place where you where it seemed like it died and he's going to breathe on it. He's going to resurrect it and he's going to cause it to flourish and he's going to cause it to overflow and he's going to give you uh, a, a, another vision for what he gave you initially because many times we think too small and we think and we try to be safe and God said this is not the season to just be safe but you got to walk in faith. You got to walk by, by his spirit and not by your spirit. You've got to walk by his spirit. You got to mind the things of the spirit. You got to be attentive to him. You got to keep your ear on his bosom. You, you, and so even one of the things I, I really sense that God was saying is that he had to release some people that kept kept talking to you and kept trying to give you advice and try to give you wisdom and God said it didn't work. Many times you, you tried those things and it just didn't work and so God said in this season you are going to be attentive to him. You're going to have to keep your ear on his bosom and hear him and seek him like never before. Seek him in the morning, in the evening, in the noonday, late in the midnight hour. You're going to have to seek God for where he's, where he's taking you and where he's already ordained for you to go because God said he finds pleasure even in your prosperity, he's going to prosper you and you're going to do the things that God has called you to do, but it's going to be even on a larger scale. And you said, God, how can that be? Because I couldn't even do what I was doing, but God said, I'm increasing you. I'm expanding you. You had to go through those things. You had to go through the failures. You had to go through even the shame. You God said, but I'll give you double for your shame. Glory to your name. I'll raise you up and I'll cause you to, I'll cause you to excel. I'll cause you to go forth. I'll cause you to arise. I'll mm. cause you 
to to impact others with the business. There was such a out to breathe on it and he's about to to cause it to impact so many lives so god said this is the hour in the season you said god here am i god if you can use anything use me if you can use my failures god use me if you can use my five you can use my for-profit business god use me here am i god show me what it is that you would have me to do show me god the places that you would have me to go show me god the people that you would have me to connect with in the name of jesus so even now god i thank you i thank you for divine connections in their life i thank you father god that you're causing you're causing the chronos to come and intersect with the kairos in the name of jesus this is the time of chance and time that's coming together in the name of jesus hallelujah i thank you god that your blessings are overtaking them even now. God, as they seek you, your blessings will seek them. In the name of Jesus, you don't have to seek out the blessing. The blessing will find you. I owe you money. They will find you in this season. In the name of Jesus, nothing or no one can be able to take and to keep what belongs to you. The earth has to give up your blessing. The earth has to give up your suddenly. The earth has to give up your prophetic promise in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. God, we bless you. We honor you, God. We thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your word today. We thank you, Father God, for your promises. We thank you for the prophetic word that has gone forth, knowing that it can't return back to you without accomplishing what it was sent to we thank you that your word is alive your word is moving your word is our daily bread it is our living water your word is sharper than any two-edged sword it cuts asunder between bone and marrow between soul and spirit your word is the discerner of the heart your word is alive your word hallelujah jesus we thank you that we keep your word before our eyes we meditate upon your word we keep your laws and your statues in the name of jesus teach us god and we will observe them with our whole heart in Jesus name hallelujah in Jesus hallelujah. name amen how many people hallelujah. receive that today amen oh how many God. people receive that Thank in your you, whether it's a business a relationship Jesus. whatever it is that God Jesus. is literally breathing on it and because Jesus. he is breathing on it you're going to begin Jesus. to see the manifestation mm. of the things that you've been praying for amen it's it's your suddenly Jesus. it's your suddenly season you got to know that you know that you My know God. that you know that God is doing amazing yes. things in your life amazing. amen you got to believe it you got to receive it you got to you got to you got to get that in your spirit Spirit because now it's it's your season. Amen. Yes. It's your time. It's the time for you to go forth and receive mm. and, and get everything that you've been called. I'm telling you, going back to my initial thought, God is going to put you in the right place, place at the, the right, right time. time. Your time and your chance are getting ready to <laughs> intersect. Amen. Yes. And I'm telling his Kairos my and your Kronos is getting ready to, uh, to uh, is getting ready, amen, to intersect. And not only that, but people were planning, amen, a funeral for that thing. But God Jesus. is getting ready to cause it to be a resurrection. Amen. I'm telling you. I'm telling Ooh, you, God and God is doing Jesus. amazing things, yes, right. amazing things it is your right mega now. Season. Yes, it's my mega season. Mega Come season. on, my God. my God, you like that, don't you? <laughs> yes. Yes, I yes, like that. Yes, we said that the other day. It's your mega season. That God is doing mega things. He's uh, He's bringing mega into. Let me your tell y'all a testimony. Let me tell y'all a testimony. Okay, check this out. Y'all ready? Okay, everybody's ready. <laughs> yes. So we were planning on doing. Um, we had talked a couple of months ago with our. Uh, with some sons and daughters, and we were planning on just doing a meeting that was going to be uh, around the state of Florida. So we we're going to do Miami, Tampa, uh, Tallahassee, um, uh, Jacksonville. We were just going to do four cities. Uh, is Carly still on here? I don't know if Carly is still on here. But we had talked about that. Then God was like, nope, it's going to be bigger than that. We just got off the phone this morning with our friends in Australia, and they want us to do it in Australia. We got people in Oakland, California. We're doing it in Oakland. We're yes. doing it in Atlanta. Yes. Amen. A son and daughter here that's from Atlanta. Amen. And so they want us to do one in Atlanta. I mean, just amazing things that's just huge amen and so God sometimes won't let you think as small as you're thinking no funerals we only having parties, parties around here amen <laughs> Jesus is interrupting Ooh. and so yes we're doing it and we're going to do it in Canada we just need to find out where in Canada but look we would love to come to Bakersfield yes. too amen we want to come and we want to release this in every city amen that, 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 that there would be an opening for us mm. to come to and to be able to bless the people of God amen yes. I'm excited we're excited yes. about what God is doing amen because he's calling for, for he's calling for mega he's not just calling a man for small things he wants you to do something huge for his kingdom <laughs> that's amen right. you don't just serve a local god you serve a global god that's and right he's giving you a global voice he's giving you global ideas he's giving you global creativity amen? we're not gonna forget st louis yes that's right absolutely amen. absolutely we love st louis we were there 
a few months ago and just a blessing, a true, true blessing. That's yes, right. That's right. We got to think outside of the box. That's we, good. We can't afford to limit God in this season because even as God said to me, and I keep saying it, we ask God for what we can see, but God wants to give us what he can see. That's right. And so we, we have to, when we go to God and, and, you know, he wants to give us the desires of our heart and he does, he does that, but be, begin to ask God for what he can see. Instead of just for what you can see, because we we are we're limited, our 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 our, our vision is finite. It it is limited. It has its limits. Our understanding is limited. But with God, there is no limitation. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely no limitation. God wants to give you His best, That's and right. so He doesn't want us to settle for anything less than His best. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're looking for a car, say God, give me the best that mm -hmm. you have for me. Give me the best. Because sometimes we think um, based upon our finances, based upon our budget, you know, we say, God, okay, this is the car mm. that I need or I can afford. Wow. But ask God for his best. Wow. Amen. God wants to give you his best. Wow. His best. I'm excited. Yes. I am excited. Yes. Looking at your comments, I'm excited. <laughs> yes, Houston, absolutely. We got yes. friends in Houston. We were, no not, we, were, we were there not too long ago. But, yes, we'll go to any city that the Lord would send us to. Yes. And we're excited. Listen, because we want to do it big. We want to do it mm -hmm. mega. Amen. Yep. Mega, super size. It's like when you go to McDonald's and say, uh, what size you want? Super size it, amen. Super size it. I want everything that belongs <laughs> to me. Give me everything, everything. that belongs to me. Yes. yes, we're doing something. We're not doing it, but we're going to be a part of it uh, in Nashville. I think it's going to be sometime in August. i got to get the yes. exact dates, but uh, we're yeah, doing a Lexus worship conference. In, uh, All right. We're doing a reset worship conference in Nashville in uh, in the month of August. Just got to get the, the exact dates, amen. But listen, yes. we love you guys. Love thank you. God for you. Thank God. Thank you for coming out on your Saturday. Sometimes <laughs> people don't come out on Saturday because they got so much going on. Yes. But uh, thank love. you. That's why we didn't want to take love. too long. But we bless you. We decree <laughs> super yes. size over you. Go we decide mega. mega. Or go home. We, All right, we decree Karen. that your time and your chance Cheers. is intersecting. Amen. My God. That's right. Big. Praise God. Believe in God. I like that. Big. <laughs> Believe in God. I like that. I never yes. saw that before. Hey, Amen. No, you God. guys are the best. You're the you, best, Lisa Coles. Awesome. And if you take the S off your name, you could be my cousin. No, I'm just messing with you. Hey, Amen. <laughs> but now uh, she's little, your sister. She's my sister. Right. Okay, well. Yeah, she's yeah, your yeah, sister. Yeah. So. We still need to take the S off. No, I'm just messing with you. Okay, God bless you. I love having fun. Oh, we can add the S. Add the S? Yeah, we can add uh -uh, the S. No, no, no. My great grandfather will turn over this grave. <laughs> you add an S to his name if you want to. All right, we love you guys. Let's love get you. out of here. We'll talk to you. Enjoy your Saturday. Have I'm fun. Sending you a mega hug. That's right. Mega Have fun. Hug. Enjoy yourself. Do something fun today. We're gonna. We yes. got. Uh, we got these. Uh, Laugh. These zero. These zero gravity chairs. Uh, let me. Let me see if I can turn. Let me see if I can turn. Uh, right there. So we got these zero gravity chairs that we're gonna just kind of sit in and uh, relax the rest of the evening and just hang out. And uh, so I'm. I'm. Uh, the people that on Facebook Live. They're like, we didn't get to see it. So let's see if we can turn it for them. Sit in these beautiful gravity chairs, sit out here, relax, and uh, just uh, hang out and have a good Man, listen, we love you. I'm hungry. And she's hungry. <laughs> so y'all know what that means. We're getting ready to eat something. Amen. I'm hungry. Yes, okay. I'm catching my flight to come hang out with you. Yes, yes. come on down. Hang out with us. We love when people come hang out with us. Amen. 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 Bless you. So we love you. We'll talk with you soon. We'll see you tonight. Shalom. I'm excited. Shalom. Saturday nights is usually our, our, our biggest night. I don't know what it is, but Saturday night is usually our biggest night yes. on the Midnight Cry. So yes. we're looking forward to seeing you guys, and we will talk to you soon. All right? Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.